Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, for the given dual slope ADC, we have been asked to find the conversion time. So here, we have been already given the reference voltage as well as the input voltage for this dual slope ADC. And moreover, we have been also given the first integration time of this ADC. So with the help of it, let us find this conversion time. So if you have watched my video on the dual slope ADC, then we have already discussed this dual slope ADC in detail. And in that video, we have already seen the block diagram of this dual slope ADC. So in this dual slope ADC, the total conversion time is equal to T1 plus T2. So this time T1 is the fixed one and it depends on the clock frequency as well as the number of bits of this counter. While this time T2 is the variable one and this time T2 depends on the input voltage. So for a larger input voltage, this time T2 will be more. Now in this case, we have been already given the value of the T1. So with the given parameters, we need to find the value of the T2. And in this way, we can find the total conversion time. So for this dual slope ADC, during the time T1, this input voltage VIN is applied to the integrator. That means during this time T1, this input voltage will get integrated. And after that, the reference voltage V reference will get applied to the integrator. Now, since the polarity of this reference voltage is opposite to the input voltage, so now the integrator starts integrating in the reverse direction and it will continue the integration until the output of this integrator is equal to zero. So this time T2 depends on the input voltage. So during the time T1 plus T2, the output of the integrator can be given by this expression. So this is the integration time of the input voltage V in, while this is the integration time of the reference voltage V reference. So we know that the integration time of this V in is equal to T1 and the integration time of this V reference is equal to T2. So further if we simplify it, then we can write this expression as T2 divided by RC times V reference plus minus T1 divided by RC times V in and we know that the overall output voltage of the integrator should be equal to zero. So if we equate this term with the zero, then further we can write it as T1 divided by RC times V in, that is equal to T2 divided by RC times V reference. Or we can say that this T2 is equal to T1 times V in divided by V reference. So here we already know the value of this input voltage, the reference voltage as well as the T1. So with the help of it, we can easily find the value of the T2. So here, this T1 is equal to 100 millisecond, while this input voltage V in is equal to 1 to 3.4 millivolt. Moreover, here the reference voltage is equal to 100 millivolt. That means here, this time T2 is equal to 123.4 millisecond, and the overall conversion time will be equal to T1 plus T2. That is equal to 100 millisecond plus 123.4 millisecond that is equal to 223.4 millisecond so this will be the overall conversion time of this dual slope adc so from this we can say that for the given question the total conversion time of the adc is equal to 223.4 millisecond